So today's video is on my top ICOs for December. This one's super exciting to me. I love doing it. I've got two super special ones for you. One has a super duper low market cap and the other one is just going to be huge. I, I'm always excited to do this one. Let's see what you guys think. Hey there, YouTube. I'm Jean with CryptoPix. First, before I get started, let me say thank you to my new and my old subscribers. I appreciate all of you. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, smash that button. Also smash that like button. Again, I appreciate it. Don't forget to check out my description below. I have my Discord down there where I'm always on. I might not always be active, but if you just send me a message, we can talk. We have a bunch of people in there. We, we talk about new, uh, new gems, old gems, ICOs coming up, coins right now. We talk about the market. It's getting super active, super awesome. Again, thank you so much. And I, the link is in the description. So first, the one with the super low market cap is Bounty Zero X. Bounty Zero X will develop a decentralized platform where bounty hunters will be able to receive payment and tokens in exchange for completing bounty tasks for blockchain companies. Their goal is to increase the efficiency of in industries that would benefit from a decentralized workforce and bounty oriented reward model. Their goal is to increase the efficiency of industries that could benefit from a decentralized workforce and bounty oriented reward model. So what about their coin use? This one has a significant amount of use for their coin. We have bounty hosts. These are companies, entities, or even governments that simply sign up, start up a campaign, post a new bounty listing, which indicates the requirements of the bounty and the bounty details and their payouts. Then users search and accept bounties they seek to complete. Once the bounty is completed, it is then flagged for review by the bounty sheriff, which I'll talk about in a little bit, who confirms the accuracy of the bounty task. After that, we have bounty hunters, which is they follow a search of available bounties. So bounty hunters accept bounties and then submit their work directly to the Bounty Zero X platform, which is in alpha and already built right now. You can actually go look at it. Bounty hunters can build reputation scores for future bounties with a leaderboard ranking bounty hunters for each bounty category. Then we got bounty sheriffs. Anyone can purchase BNTY tokens on the market and stick their coins in order to earn a badge and become a bounty sheriff and who is authorized to verify that bounty submissions are completed correctly. Multiple reviewers review the same bounty and if a sheriff performs an incorrect review, a portion of their staked tokens, the BNTY token, will be burned. So what kind of bounty types do we have? They have... I had to swap me to the other side for this one. So bounty types. Bounties are sorted according to the following three categories. We've got automated bounties, sheriff bounties, and super bounties. With automated bounties, no humans are involved and they automatically checked by the bounty zero X algorithm and API. Then sheriff bounties will be reviewed by bounty sheriffs on the, on the platform and they will receive rewards for performing the correct verifications. And then super bounties, these are private bounties that are tasked where the project owner or admin decides whether the submission will be accepted or not. And these are highly technical and subjective bounty tasks. So of course, the most exciting part of this one, the market cap. So the pre-sale just ended today. Each BNTY token cost 0.132 cents during the pre-sale and it will be 0.164 during the main sale. They're trying to reach a total of 1.75 million hard cap. That is all. 1.75. This is unheard of and this is awesome. This is how I believe ICO should be. This $30 million hard cap is just ridiculous and totally, it's ridiculous. It should not be like that. So I'm excited and I hope that this kind of leads... Uh, this is kind of how the new ICOs will be. So again, the pre-sale is already completed and the main sale whitelist is already full, but you can still join because after the, the main sale, I think they have like 24 hours on December 16th, 
this is the day that you and I can buy if you are not whitelisted and as long as they haven't hit their hard cap. So we have 500 million tokens created and 105 million 500,000 will be circulating after the ICO and the rest will be locked up. So we have 45% are frozen for 18 month hold for future bounty campaigns and to balance the natural burn rate of the tokens and the hiring of three new team members. I was told they're gonna hire two more devs and one more salesperson once they're done with this ICO. And then 30% are gonna be given to the team and they have an 18 month vesting period and 3% are given to the advisors which have a six month vesting period. Next we have their competition. I couldn't find any competition for Bounty Zero X. Again, that's super exciting. Another huge reason to jump in on this one. So to summarize this, this is a super interesting project with a ridiculously small market cap compared to pretty much all the normal ICOs right now. They already have a working platform, which is almost a requirement, at least for me. They are super active in Telegram. You can ask the whole team any question that you, that you have which is another ginormous plus. So, I mean, yeah, this project is, is super exciting and I, I personally plan on jumping in. So let me know, what do you think? Go check this out. Show me in the comments, what do you think? Are you gonna be jumping in on this project? If you are, why? If not, let me know why you're not, not jumping in. This one, market cap is just too low, in my opinion, to not participate. And now next we have Wambi, one of the most exciting ICOs I've seen. And just the more I read about it, the more excited I get about the opportunity this one's presenting. And this one technically starts on November 28th, but it runs through December. So I'm keeping it in my top ICOs for December. So what is Wambi's project idea? Wambi wants to solve the issue of counterfeit goods by linking digital and physical assets through RFID labels with the anti-copying functionality so that customers can authenticate the product through their cell phone. Super simple, but super effective. So now for Wambi's market cap, we're looking at each token is only 25 cents. They're only looking to hit 11.5 million market cap, which is super low. Now I know if you compare that to Bounty Zero X, it seems kind of high, but compared to like WanChain, QuantStamp, all these other high profile ICOs, that is super tiny, which is super exciting. They will have 100 million total tokens and 46 million sold at ICO. There was a pre-ICO, but those are locked up for three to six months after the ICO. So yeah, this one, super exciting, 25 cents each. I'm about to talk about this competition. This is where I think the value is going to be huge. So competition, this is kind of sketchy. So many people seem to think that VeChain and Walton are competition to Wambi, but I personally feel that they're in different markets, even though they're kind of doing the same thing. They're, they're attacking different, different niches, I guess you could say. The, the best part about Wambi, so with this company, Wambi, they've been operating already since 2014, I believe, February 2014. So for several years, they already had a working product, already had their items on marketplace shelves. And they just have a bunch of awesome history if you go check it out. So in my opinion, Wambi is already head of the competition, even Walton. We already know Walton's market cap and it's it seems to be kinda kinda low right now. We know it's gone way higher. So the the return of investment in Wambi is huge and why I'm so excited in this one. So to summarize Wambi, the business has been operating since February, 2014, super exciting. They have an awesome history behind them. Their product has already been sold and is being sold right now. So they don't have to try to make something brand new. They're already out there doing it. Also super important. Listen here, today is the last day to get on the whitelist. So you need to go right now on the website and do your know your customer thing. I know it's super detailed, but it actually seems to be super common now. Go do it if you wanna jump in on this. I already did it. I am super excited about this one. Let me know what you think. Well, that is my top two coins for December. My top ICOs for December. 
What do you think? Do you think Bounty Zero X is better? Wambi is better? Are you going to jump in both? I, I really want to know. Don't forget to check my description again. I have my Discord there. I love to get as many people super active. We can talk about this coin, next month's ICO, 2018, everything in general. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.